Between Daviot and Dal Roy, the valley is steeped in history. This is the site of the Battle of Culloden in 1746, the last battle on British soil. It was fought between the Catholic Stuarts and the Protestant Hanoverians. The death toll was over 2,000 people. The battle was fought on, on the ridge north of the river. In the valley close to the river, there are remains of chambered cairns dating from about 2000 BC. The site is a national monument, so it is protected by law. Here is Clava Bridge. Go. At Clava Bridge, the flow of the river is greater still. You can see an outcrop of sandstone in the riverbed. So this bit is a good, well, 10, 15, 20 metres across at this bridge. You can see that I needed a wetsuit to get into the deepest part of the river. You can see on the map that the railway line makes a big loop as it descends from the moor down into Inverness on the coast. It crosses the valley on a viaduct. Here is the 150 metre contour line. The course of the river stays on the north side of the floodplain around 95 metres above sea level. You can see here the railway line is built up on an embankment. The Nairn Viaduct was opened in 1898 in the last years of Queen Victoria's reign. It is 600 yards long and 130 feet high. It has 28 arches. The largest arch spans across the river. This large arch is 100 feet wide. All the other arches are 50 feet wide. Downstream, you can see the soil is more fertile. The grass is more lush and there are deciduous trees. This is Kilrourke Castle built by the Rose family. The keep was built a long time ago and it was licensed, given permission, in 1460. This marks the end of the middle course. We will explore the lower course in another film. We have explored the River Nairn from Aberada to Kilrourke, a distance of about 36 kilometers. We have seen changes in the floodplain and in the width, the depth, and the velocity of the river. <laughs>